those things uh, first. Um, so you see I'm at home parse. Of course, as parse as a parse user. And uh, first I would, mm, yeah, we could just do this, but from this, from home parse, um, you can just type CD if you already as the user parse and it'll take, it will take you to this folder. So, um, yeah, and then you would just type this out and press enter, but I've already done it, but. So all this says is change owner to um, the current user, which is of course parse, which it should have been, should have, uh, we should own our own folder, I guess you could say, our own directory. Anyways, um, well, I'm just doing this for parse server example folder, but I've already done it. But another thing I want to show you is if you're stuck on like a line uh and you don't want to complete it you could just press Control c and that will cancel what you're about to type but yeah this is what you should type right here i'll put this in the description as well and also um okay so let's run, run pm2 status Next, you'll see that this is running, so we'll just do PM2 stop. You can either do stop zero, stop all. Um, we only have one, so we'll just stop that. So that, that just stops parse. And we'll CD to the parse server example. And then I'll cat the index. I just want to show you something. So um, right here, when you're doing REST API or whatever, uh, I should change this to app ID because if so, basically this is getting it from the environment variable, which is safer actually than typing it out right here. So first it checks um environment variables, and if you do use environment variable, make sure you <laughs> change it so they all don't point to app ID. Um, I'll just show you how to set an environment variable. It's right here. I'll, I'll post a link to this in the, in the description. So let's say it's just basically that. I don't have to copy it. So um, let's say we're doing app ID. Or we won't even do that. We'll just do editor. So that does no. Nah. Let's, let's just do test. So I don't even want to set that. So, but if you want to actually use this, it's actually better. Uh, consider a better practice to store keys and the environment variables consider safer so I'll just show you um so we'll just copy this example or no we'll do test equals test and then uh see your environment variables print env I know there's another way I think you just type env yeah it does the same thing so now you'll see tests right here. So I'll read from here. Um, the environment variables, if you set that. So another thing I want to show you is how to set up the um, the dashboard so you can see the data in like a, it gives you like, parse gives you like a SQL type <laughs> table looking dashboard. Even though it's no SQL, uh, yeah. So you can even do. Yes, yeah, no, it's non-relational, but they make they make it where you can kind of do relational type queries. I'll show you that later too. But anyways, so first type PWD, and so you see this is the path we're at right now. So PWD, if I haven't explained it before, is print working working directory. Just it basically prints your current directory or current current folder dashboard running. So it's just the directory that we're in. So home parse uh, change this to home slash parse or whatever directory you're in. You can find out your directory uh, with PWD. 
So current working directory, so it shows you the current directory. And also in um, parse, course sudo, vim parse dashboard config. So we'll just change this to see it, server URL. And we could leave this, but or actually we can't. <laughs> we have to change it to our app ID and our master key, which of course we want to change this later to something better. So um Yeah, so next, um, let's see, you can leave the app name and, um, yeah, that just shows on the parse dashboard. You can change your password and you can encrypt it. I'll show you, I'll leave a link, but basically. It's you can encrypt it by use by using use encrypted. So you either set it true or false. You want to use this. So you just set it to either or. It's false by default, I think. But yeah. So next, we'll save this and we'll run sudo pm2 start dashboard running. Uh, which actually, it's just sudo. <laughs> we need to start the uh, server. So, so we'll just run that, and then we'll run sudo pm2 star all. So, and um, so you will just get the. Uh, the IP address, and you will paste it forty forty. So yeah, now you see the data here. So um, yeah, that's just how you, and. I think there's a bug because uh, like basically when you when you use the URL it like messes up the whole thing so if I, when I figure that out I'll make a video but um, yeah so this is how you can you can even change data at columns but really I, I would advise against it but <laughs> so you can see your data here so it puts into it stacks it in a SQL table like format. So, um, yeah, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And um, also, next, we'll actually connect this to Flutter. Uh, so, they have their own user stuff. But, yeah. I'll show you how to connect that and uh, that'll be the next video and then after that we'll probably I'll probably show you how to put uh, copy this server and put it behind a load balancer basically just so teaching you how to scale the server so uh, thank you for watching see you next time